Hello, I'm Lanny McGill with Glock Store Performance Center. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about the uh, the slug plug or the uh, backstrap channel insert or the uh, frame insert. This is an item that a lot of people, you know, kind of, you know, I was thinking, well, what do I need it for? Well, there's a lot of reasons, and let's talk about uh, what's going on first. So let me go and take a Glock 19 here, drop the magazine, make sure the magazine is unloaded, keep my finger outside of the trigger guard area and off of the trigger. And now I'm going to go ahead and pull the slide back, make sure the gun is in fact unloaded. Pull the trigger in a safe direction. Okay, so now I have an empty gun and I can work on it. One of the things that uh, Gaston Glock did when he invented the Glock is he uh, left a hole down here uh, in the back of the um, grip. And people say, well, why is that there? You know, what's going on with that? Well, the concept was is that any kind of debris that accumulated in the trigger mechanism would fall through and fall out. So that's why it's there, basically. So this is a, a, a gun made for war, in a sense, and, and it's designed to shoot lots and lots of rounds without a lot of cleaning. And so it, it in a sense, it self-cleans itself. All the big debris, any of the brass shavings, any of the large uh, clumps of residue could fall out. And that's what that channel's all about, fall out and away. And um, uh, of course, now here in America, you know, we're, we're in a cleaner environment and we don't really have to worry about this. So a lot of people think, you know, well, that's not attractive. And two, I'd like to, you know, clean that up a little bit. So there's a couple solutions we have. Uh, we have one is the uh, PGGFI, which is uh, this guy right here. And then we also have the PL001. Both of them do the same function. They, they will both close up that hole and seal it and make it look a little bit more finished. One, as you look down here, is longer and the other is shorter. So the one's going to stick out a little bit and the other one's going to be flush. Now, let me go ahead and show you the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and use the, um, the one that's longer, the PL001. And to install these, you know, you're basically going to take the device and line it up. You'll see there's a little post that is springy that's going to lock up into the hole there, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get the item lined up and just push it down. It's just a pressure fit and it clicks itself into place. And that's what it looks like. Now what's important is a lot of people like it sticking out a little bit because they feel that when they install a magazine it gives them some place to kind of anchor that magazine. All right. And there's what it looks like with the Mac. And some people like that. And some people don't. But now to take it out, you're just going to go ahead and grab a punch. And we're going to go back here. And we're going to depress that and push down basically at the same time. So I'll grab the punch and push it in and down. So out it comes. You know, relatively easy, okay? So you have to have a stout punch. I like to use the fatter punch that's just going to fit in the hole. All right, now let's use the other one, which is the PGGFI, the grip frame insert, GFI. Front post, which you can see a small post right here, which is going to marry itself into the hole in the back of the frame. And it'll click itself in. And you'll notice that's a cleaner flush look, possibly. A lot of people like that too, obviously. It's uh, a personal preference. There's what it looks like. You can kind of get a good feel of that. And now let's go ahead and insert a magazine and show you what that looks like. So it's really about your preference. The function is the same. The fit and the finish is, is what's different. You know, does it, uh, does it hang out or not? Installing the magazines, you know, this one has the same concept. It's, it's uh, kind of sloped or ramped into the mag well. Let me see if I can get you a shot of that. There you go. And the mags are going to kind of naturally find their way up in there. Same is true on the other one. The other one is also sloped or ramped to help facilitate the magazine insert. Um, these are relatively inexpensive items. They, they do what they're supposed to do. Uh, 
even if debris were to fall down and in here, there's a big channel there, and it's just going to live in the bottom of that uh, uh, mag well. Take it out again. Just use a punch and pop it out. Uh, I think you know these are relatively easy uh, items to install, and uh, a lot of people buy them because uh, they do uh, you know finish the gun up a little bit better. Thanks for watching. I'm Lenny McGill.